All right, we're going to be working on worksheet 4.1, 4.7, um, talking about triangles, specifically isosceles and equilateral triangles. Um, remember in the notes we covered that isosceles triangles are triangles with two equal sides, and the result of that is that they have two equal angles. Equilateral triangles are triangles with three equal sides, and the consequences of that are that they have three equal angles. Um, so we will apply that to find different values of x, um, both sides and angles. If you go down um, to the bottom of the first page, the first set of application problems, um, we'll look at a couple different um, scenarios. Um, I noticed on question number seven that we have three equal angles, and that means all of the angles have to be exactly the same. So I can fill in 5x and 5x on the angle R and angle T. We can do one of two things here. We can simply say that 5x plus 5x plus 5x is equal to 180 degrees. Adding all of that together, we get 15x equals 180. And then we will divide by 15. The other thing that we can do is we can think, well, all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. And if I divide that by 3, then each angle should be 60 degrees and I can take 5x and equal it to 60 degrees. In either case, you will get the exact same answer. x turns out to be 12. So two different um, reasonings, and you get the same answer. So whatever uh, makes more sense to you. If we move over to question number 12, we notice that we have two equal sides. That means the two angles that are opposite those sides have to also be equal. So in this case, we take the 7x plus 5 and set it equal to the x plus 47. Solving the equation, we have a variable on both sides. We're going to move the x to the, other, to the left. So we have 6x plus 5 is equal to 47. Then we bring the 5 down. 6x is equal to 42. Divide that by 6. And we get x equals 7. If we move on to page 2, we look at questions 13, 14, and 15. And notice that they ask us to set up equations. That will help us find the values of x and y. We do not need to solve them all the way. But we will be setting them up. And the pictures have both x's and y's in them, so we have to organize our information. Um, in question 13, we have two sides that are the same, which means these two angles are the same. So we have 5x plus 6 equals y minus 9. Here we have a situation where we have both x's and y's in the same equation, so that doesn't do us much good. So we have to go back to the diagram, and we look up here and we notice that we have 98 degrees on the top. If we take 180 degrees and subtract out the 98, we're left with 82 degrees. And if we divide that in half, it turns out that each of these degrees will be 41. Now we have two different equations. We have 5x plus 6 is equal to 41, and we have y minus 9 equals 41. Now each of those can be solved individually to find the value for each variable. If we jump ahead to questions 16, 17, 18, and 19, um, they ask us to find the value of x, but they also ask us to find the perimeter of the triangle. Remember, the perimeter is where you add all of the sides. It is the sum of the length of all the sides. So we have different kinds of triangles here, and we're going to um, find out what x is first and then calculate the perimeter. The example that we're going to try is question 18. Reading the diagram, we notice that we have arcs on all three angles, and that will tell you that all three sides have to be the same. You'll notice all the sides have x's on them, so in this case you can set any sides you want equal to each other. Just pick two of them and set them equal. x plus 13 equals 3x minus 1. If I solve this equation, 
I'm going to move the x to the right to keep everything positive. Add 1 to both sides. 2x equals 14. And I get x equals 7. Had I picked two different sides, like I could have chosen these two sides, 6x minus 22 equals x plus 13. If you do all of the work, you end up in the exact same place, x equals 7. Then we have to take that 7 and plug it back in, remembering that all the sides are the same. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. I'm going to take this 7 and plug it right there. 7 plus 13 is equal to 20. That means this side is 20 and this side is 20. My perimeter is going to be 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60 feet. Question 20 is an application problem also. They're going to give you a problem in words and then we're going to solve it. Uh, just because it has the words here, um, I don't want you to be afraid of it. Um, use your cubic strategy, read through the problem. Circle the numbers, numbers are in the diagram, and then find the question. It says you plant a garden in the shape of a triangle, as shown in the figure. What is the perimeter of the garden? Find the measure of each angle of the garden, and then classify the triangle by its sides. So if we go over to the picture, we notice that we have tick marks on the two sides, so we know these two angles have to both be the same. That tells us that y equals 69 degrees. Then if we want to find out what x is, we know that we can add the two angles together for a grand total of 138. And then we can do 180 minus 138 to find out that x is equal to 42 degrees. Um, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Remember the perimeter is the sum of the outsides. So if I have 8 up here on the um, top, I can put 8 on the bottom. My perimeter will be 8 plus 8 plus 6. 16 plus 6 is equal to 22 yards. Um, the measure of each angle, and then I'm going to classify the triangle. And because the angles are all less than 90, this is an acute isosceles triangle. For this next chunk of questions, we are going to be setting up equations that will help us solve the problems. Um, notice that we have some interior and exterior angles. Um, remember the interior angles all add up to 180 degrees. And the exterior angles um, is where we take the exterior angle in 24 and equal it to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So for question 24, my equation would be 2x plus 3 plus 51 equal to 4x plus 8. And there's our setup. That's all that we need to do there. This is our exterior angle theorem. If we look at question 26, we notice now all of the angles are on the interior of the triangle. Um, one thing I notice is that I have two equal sides, which means these two angles are equal to each other. The easiest equation would be 2x plus 2 equal to 2x plus 2. But because both sides are the same, that's not going to get us anywhere. So we have to go back to the triangle and use the third angle. We will add them all together. 2x plus 2 plus 2x plus 2 plus 3x plus 1 equals 180 degrees. I like to add up the, prob the problem before I write it all out. So we can shortcut this a little bit, adding up all the x's. 2x two plus, two plus 2x is 4x, plus 3x is 7x, and then plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5, 
equals 180, either one of those equations would be okay um, and help you with your answer. On the last page here, um, they ask us to find the values of x and y and then explain why we set up each, e each equation for x and y. So first we'll start here with question 31. You'll notice for 31, again, it's isosceles. That means these two angles have to be the same, and they both have x's, so there's our first setup. 3x minus 11 equal to 2x plus 11. Solving that equation, minus 2x from both sides. x minus 11 equals 11. Add 11, so we get x equals 22. Um, the reason for that is isosceles triangles have two equal angles. And then we need to move on and find the y part. In order to do the y part, we're going to take this 22 right here and we're going to plug it back into the problem. 2 times 22 plus 11 is 44 plus 11. 55 degrees, so we have 55 in both of these corners. That means 55 plus 55 is equal to 110 degrees. We take that and subtract from 180 and we get 70. So we know that the third angle, 2y, must equal 70 degrees. So divided by 2, we have y equals 35. And the reason that we know that is that there are 180 degrees in a triangle. Plugging our number back in, we find that. Then the last question on the page um, is question 33. Again, I'm going to start with the x's on the big triangle on the right. I notice that I have two equal angles. So I know that I have two, um, excuse me, two equal sides, so I know I have two equal angles. So I have 3x plus 10 equal to 5x minus 10 minus 3x on both sides. 10 is equal to 2x minus 10. Adding 10, 2x equals 20, dividing by 2s. Um, if I take that 10 and plug it in to this spot right here, I get 5 times 10 minus 10. 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. And so we need to take those two angles and get information on the triangle on the left. Um, let's step back here for a second. This was isosceles triangle has two equal angles. Then if we move on to the triangle on the right, if these two angles are both 40, I know 40 plus 40 is equal to 80. That makes this angle 100. That makes on the other side this angle 80. And then I know that 4y has to equal 80. So I divide both sides by 4. And that makes this 20. Why again are those equal? Because I have two equal sides, so those two angles are both equal. And again, isosceles triangle has two equal angles. Good luck, and we can talk some more in class tomorrow.